absolutely. That's that's wonderful yeah. because I think uh, as you start peeling that onion, uh, and I've noticed this with other people too who have come out. I'm not going to mention names. Okay. At first, they 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 just said that uh, uh, you know. Uh, uh, it, it's it's all the fingers in the pie of Narcanon or or this or that about Narcanon, uh, but um, you know it does work for some people. And but now a few months later, no, they've turned they've they've seen that it's completely completely a dangerous death machine. Yeah, and and I think by giving them the space to to come to that realization on their own is the way to go. Yeah, absolutely. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't force uh, somebody into. No, you can't. Yeah. no. screaming, no. "Wake up! Wake up, you idiot!" You know that's just no, because that just that just puts uh, a, you know a confrontation, and it oh, doesn't absolutely. work. Absolutely. I mean, we actually we do have a case here in Ireland where two very uh, prominent uh, anti-cult people went to visit a guy, and their efforts just drove him back into the cult for a further five years. So. Right. So it's a very, right. very well. Even uh, even uh, uh, Marty Rathbun, uh, he posted on his blog one day. Uh, oh, Narconon is still doing great works, and I, I thought, did. where the where the heck is this guy coming from? Didn't he read the internet yesterday, where another person just died in uh, yeah. in in Arrowhead? So I, I wrote an open letter and I said, come on, Marty, put down the glass pipe. I don't know what you're smoking, but you need to do some research before you. Keep promoting Narconon. Well, I've taken that letter down now because it appears that uh, he he may have been turned around and can see that Narconon isn't doing great work. I saw that, David. I, I saw his wife um, mention. Yes, I did uh, too. Yeah. Uh, have you asked him lately what his opinion is? So it's good, no. that, you know. But did you also see the thing from a guy called Lars Roast, um, who said he was 24 years saying that. Um, the church is all bad, but the text good. And then suddenly he woke up, and he said, "Hang on a second, it's all bad." Right. And no. you know, uh, Robert Robin Robert Robinson yes. uh, on his, yeah. his blog, he is uh, he's just he's just he's just telling it like it is, and I think it's fantastic because when you read his blogs, you realize, hey, this is all evil shit. Yeah. Hats off to Robert as well. Good. Enough. Absolutely. Another, another great fighter in the. I love him. I love him. Balls yeah. of steel. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, I mean, it's interesting because, like, you live with this stuff every day, so you do kind of get familiarity with it. And every now and again, something will happen or you'll hear something that just kind of reaffirms the absolute horror of what Scientology is, you know. Um, oh, absolutely. It's incredible. I mean, small little things just harden my resolve on a, on a weekly basis. You know, they really do. Yeah, me too. And I'll tell you something, Pete. When the Quebec Human Rights Commission uh, uh, makes their decision, which could come any day, any week, any month, uh -huh. I think people's jaws are going to drop. It's going to be shocking what I will be able to publish. I mean, it, it's unbelievable what they did to people there. Well, you saw that picture of that leg. I did. I did. Yeah. Well, that poor lady, uh, that was about 25% of the hell she went through while she was at Narconon. That's... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it, it, it's, it's horrendous. And that's why I have flashbacks and nightmares of, because of the stuff that, that happened there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it, it's all a fascinating thing because, I mean, like, I, I can't even... I, actually, I did send someone to Narconon with an alcohol problem, and he never got it fixed. And I didn't even question it at the time because I was a loyal Scientologist. But looking back, the warning signs were there. You know, this guy's drinking while he's on the program. What's going on? You know, um, yeah, it's it's like I mean, this was just alcohol, which you'd have to say is is a legal drug, I suppose, and maybe not yep. as harmful. I I don't know. I wouldn't like to get into that debate. It probably yeah. is as harmful as any other. Um, but it's like people are aware of this, and the whole whistleblower thing comes up. You know, it's like we need more whistleblowers, don't we? Really. Yes, we do. And but once again, you know, um, there is a there seems to be a lot coming out right now in the USA about Narconon. That's for sure. Excellent. Yeah. Um, I think Arrowhead's in big trouble. But you know what? I, I never say they're done until they're done because they've got deep pockets, powerful lawyers. And I think if you turn some hands over down in the United States right now, you'd see a lot of greasy palms. I'd say so, although we wouldn't want to 
exciting. No, the definite. that's just my just my opinion from what I've seen happen here and there, and know what's happening. Yeah. Well, I, I'm eternally optimistic, so every time there's a bit of good news for us, I, I think it's the end of the cult, and of course it never is because they ju they just keep going. But uh, yeah. they do they do seem <coughs> struggling worldwide. I mean, they really are. Um, really oh, the financially, uh, I just talked to Quebec City uh, last night uh, because the intelligence that I received from uh, Quebec and Montreal Anonymous is is is, is stunning. The the the, the <laughs> I mean, it's just. <laughs> It's incredible what the work they've done. But anyway, he said well, they got the new ideal org there that they opened uh, a few years ago. And um, he says it's it's empty, completely wow. Wow. empty. Yeah, that does not surprise me. I and this is where that's hurting them because uh, it, it it doesn't cost uh, zero money to operate big buildings like that. You Especially in Canada. I mean, this is oh. one of the most coldest countries on earth. I mean, the winters are long here, and it costs a lot of money to heat and upkeep big buildings like that. Totally, totally. Um, <clears throat> for me, <clears throat> okay, there's been a lot of people, as I say, since August 1950, fighting the whole thing. But really, the turning point, as I see it, was 2008 and Anonymous and Project Chanology. What's your take on that? What's that again? I'm sorry, Pete. Uh, the, the turning point was February 2008, anonymous, on the streets, protesting outside all the orgs and missions. That, for me, was the turning point. Um, right, right. People, people, public, began to be inoculated against the scam at that point. And the reason the numbers are dwindling is because everyone knows what a con it is now, you know. Yeah. Oh, uh, Chanology, uh, <laughs> anonymous, uh, they... they, they it's just incredible what they did. I mean, um, as soon as I got out, they got in contact with me right away and uh, helped me in, in um, many ways. I meet with them uh, once or twice a month, and uh, they're incredible, uh, just incredible. I mean, and they all have a focus of stopping the death and abuses within the cult of Scientology. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm with you 100% on that because it was the, the very same anonymous protest that woke me up to the fact that, yeah. um, you know, I'd been in a cult. I, I was no longer in, but I still held the mindset, if you like, and I still thought they were the good guys, um, getting people off drugs, salvaging criminals, the usual bullshit, you know? Um, yeah. So it's nice that people care enough to want to wake you up without screaming, wake up in your face, you know? So Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, that was a wonderful, a wonderful turning point, and you know, hats off to Anonymous, definitely, without a doubt. Yeah, and they still, they're still pushing forward strong. I mean, you might not, you might not see so many out protesting, although our group is uh, is becoming bigger in Montreal. But uh, they still do a lot of uh, work uh, in the background that uh, a lot of people like uh, are not aware of. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I know when I first heard the anonymous message to Scientology, you know, the one with the clouds and the buildings, that one, uh, uh -huh. that I found that very inspirational, very inspirational. Yeah, I didn't know anything about uh, anonymous until after I left. I never even heard of them. Right. OK. <laughs> did, you see, did you see them outside by any chance? What's that? Did you see them outside protesting? No, not at Narconon. The first protest, uh, we only did two at Narcon on Three Rivers, and uh, I was at both of them after we left, after I left. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Well, that's so, fascinating, David. Uh, um, do you feel kind of talked out at this stage, or shall we... No, you can ask me anything you want. Well, I, 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 <laughs> see, we've covered a lot there, and I don't want to, like, uh, you know, stretch it just for the sake of it. So what are you going to do with this? You're going to edit and make a video of it? I no, I, I probably won't make a video because I don't have the uh, the the, um, the the footage. But I'll, I'll probably just do an audio on similar lines to what I did with the Orgs project recently. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I like that theme music and I like everything else about that. So I'll stick right. a picture of you up next to me, and you know, we'll just we'll just. Yeah. We'll just play us chatting away like good friends, you know, like we are. Well, I haven't, I haven't said anything, Pete, that needs to be kept uh, confidential, so uh, you feel free to use what you need. Okay, and I probably won't do much trimming, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, if, if there's any waffle in that or, you know, well, 
we don't waffle. We we talk sense. <laughs> <laughs> don't. <laughs> yeah, you you do what you please, my friend. Okay, listen, David. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Pete. You have a very nice day. And keep up the wonderful work.